next video. Exposure maintenance formula, sometimes called the density maintenance formula. Again, I stole the numbers I'm about to use from your exposure lecture handout. Again, you don't need them if you don't have it with you because I'm going to work through the entire problem. But um, in the corner, I do have density maintenance formula in case you don't have it handy. Okay. So first things first, these are the variables that were supplied. We used a 40 inch SID and a 40 mass and a 72 inch SID. What would you need for your mass? Okay. So the first thing that you want to do is identify your variables for the formula. Okay, so one, identify variables. If you already watched the inverse square law video, these steps are going to be quite similar, you'll see. Okay, so in this scenario, our distance one squared is our 40 inch SID. Our mass is here, so I'm just going to put mass one. Our distance two squared is 72, and we're solving for mass two. That is our unknown. Okay. Second step is you want to plug those variables into the formula. And the reason why I like to do that right away is just, again, I've said it before, but the quicker that you get those moved into the format of the density maintenance formula, the less of a chance there is for you to put them into the wrong spot later on. So if I was setting this up now, my mass 1, so 40 mass over mass 2, which is my unknown, is equal to distance 1, which is 40 squared over distance 2, 72 inches squared. Okay? Step 3, you're going to cross multiply. And I'm just going to put arrows. I like to put arrows for myself so I can easily see what's supposed to be tied together. But the other thing that I like to do is put this formula into my cross multiplied style formula, in which case that would be mass 1 times distance 2 squared is equal to mass 2 times distance 1 squared. Now if I move these numbers into that format, that's going to be 40 times 72 squared is equal to our unknown variable times our distance 1, 40 squared. Okay? Our next step that we want to do is isolate the unknown variable. And what I mean by that is I want my x to be independent of the, on the equal sign side. So I don't want anything else hanging out with that x. So what I'm going to do is divide out that 40 squared. And again, we're not actually doing any math here. We're just setting up our math problem. So that translates. Get, you can get rid of this now and make it simpler. Simplify that down to x. I like to put it on the left, I think it looks cleaner, you can do it either way. X being equal to your 40 times 72 squared over 40 squared. Okay, so this, these are going to cancel each other out, so I'm just rewriting this. Okay, I'm going to plug these values in directly to my calculator to get my next step, which is just solving. So 40 times 72 squared, leave your little brackets on, a lot of scientific 
calculators require it, but that is going to make your next step look like this. It's going to be 207,360 for the top line, and your bottom line, 40 squared, is 1,600. Okay? So divide those two out. X is going to equal 129.6. Okay, that means your final answer is going to be mass 2 is equal to 129.6. I like to leave my mass rounded to the nearest tenth space. Your instructor might like it there or rounded to a whole number. You'll have to ask them. But through these steps, you've done it. You've solved the density maintenance formula. Not too bad.